Now let's look at how we can report the central tendency for quantitative data. In the current questionnaire, the most important variable for us is the purchase intention. And I noticed that this group, they have used two parallel questions to measure the purchase intention. While in period three, we BRS teachers strongly suggest you to design three, at least three parallel questions for purchase intention because it is about people's attitude or opinion. So at this moment, that this group has some difficulty to analyze the reliability. So this is something that they can mention in the limitation part of the research report, that this is the limitation of this uh, current uh, questionnaire design. They have only two parallel questions. Well, this may not generate a valid reliability coefficient, chrome box alpha. Okay, but how can we still make use of that to measure the purchase intention, although the reliability cannot be measured? We still can uh, set up a new variable, and we call this new variable purchase intention. This is the purchase intention, and I'm not going to report the values of each single question because they are parallel questions for purchase intention. Instead, I'm going to average them. So it comes from the average of these two parallel questions. And I round it to two decimals, and I do it for the rest of the variables. For the and then I can see that these are the average for these two parallel questions for purchase intention. And after I average them, this purchase intention variable becomes a quantitative variable. When we report the central tendency, then we can use a mean, median, and mode to report this quantitative variable. And using data tab, data analysis function, I can easily find out the central tendency of this variable. So I will go to descriptive, descriptive statistics, click OK. And then I select the average of these two parallel questions for purchase intention. I would like to put the output into a new worksheet. And then I select the summary statistics. So this is the, central, this is the uh, descriptive analysis for purchase intention. And I will rename this uh, tab, Central Tendency for PI, Purchase Intention. And I can round some, uh, ver some numbers into two decimals in the report. I keep it consistent. And this is my N. So this N is 87. Yes, it's the 87 valid responses. And the most important is the central tendency here, mean, median, and mode. Okay, so when I report it in the Word document, I first need to fit in the purchase intention into the table for all the uh, responses. And you can also put it for female and male. Later we can see whether they are different. We will do it later. We first put this statement into my report. So the current average uh, purchase intention is 3.05. 3.05, that is the average. So I will report it like that. The mean of purchase intention, PI, is 3.05. Zero 0.5, and the median is 
3.5 as well as the mode. Okay, and this is the central tendency for the quantitative variable purchase intention. But you can see that here I need to report the mean in the table, only the mean, and also the standard deviation. So please watch the next video to see how I can get the standard deviation.